what you doing DXC? That's me. And I still haven't been doing too much lately. Haven't really even been posting many actual vlog videos of doing anything. But I kind of do stuff every now and then. And one thing I've been doing is I've been playing around with this app called Seek and iNaturalist. I just happened to see someone else talk about it. And I thought it was really interesting. If you don't know what Seek is, it's pretty much an app that you can use to take picture of animals and plants, fungi, and it's supposed to identify it for you. Now this isn't going to be like um, advertisement for the app because I will be doing a really bad job. The idea for this app I love. I love it so much because it reminds me of a real world Pokemon Snap. And I found this app the day before they announced there was going to be a new Pokemon Snap so it was like it was meant to be. But it, to me it was like a real world Pokemon Snap. Not only that, when I was a kid, before I got into all that this music stuff I do now and whatever else I'm supposed to be doing, I wanted to be a wildlife photographer. This kind of seems like the thing I want to do. I never got a camera as a kid for some reason, even though I really wanted one. Not just, okay, yeah, uh, bitter about it, but whatever, that's the past. Now I can do it like this. Still don't have a great camera, but you know, I get my phone out taking pictures of animals and plants, getting them identified right away. Sounds great. And it's okay. The app itself doesn't really work <laughs> how it should. It can't really identify stuff. Sometimes it gets close. But it's, you have to have like a perfect picture for it to be able to identify it. And the camera in the app is terrible. You would need to upload your picture for it to actually do anything. But the idea of the app is so cool. You take the picture, it collects them for you, and you get to be able to see what you're taking pictures of, what the species are. But it's hard to take pictures of animals because a lot of times they don't stay still. And if you need a perfect picture, they kind of need to stay still if you want to be able to identify it. And then you can also get achievements and challenges and it's such a cool interactive way to do this. It's just right now the app is not great but I don't know I thought if I talk about it people get more interested in it get some more support of their work on the app and make it better. No, no, so it's called Seek. Check it out, support it. It's really cool. The other thing it does is uh, you can see the locations. I, well, I assume it's other people using the app have also taking pictures of these things. So it's really cool to see one who else is using this app and what they're taking pictures of. Now, I discovered the app is by iNaturalist, but iNaturalist also has its own app. So whenever you can't get a clear picture, you can move the picture to the iNaturalist app, which I also use, and then other people can look at it, give you recommendations about what they think it is. And that seems to kind of work a little better, but it also takes time. It's not as immediate. It's not as fun, I guess, and as clean of a clean of a looking app as Seek is. But it's still interesting. I still really love animals. I like taking pictures, putting them together, and it just let me live what I feel like could be a real Pokemon Snap. And I'm like this with everything, collecting pictures, just like in Breath of the Wild. I probably spent a lot of time, a lot more time of that game, just going around trying to take the best pictures and collecting all the pictures of the weapons and the monsters than I probably should. But I, don't, I like taking pictures even though apparently I suck at taking pictures. I like animals. I just like collecting stuff. Oh, I can't wait for Pokemon Snap to come out. <laughs> but that's not what this video is about. Yeah, if you're interested in taking pictures and kind of collecting what species are around you, in picture form. Go ahead, check out the app Seek and Naturalist. Not the greatest performing apps, but the idea is solid, and I think maybe some support behind it would be something cool. But that's what I've been doing lately, running around my house taking pictures. One day I'm going to hit the zoo up and see how it works there, so I'm excited about that. But I'm finally starting to be able to go out and do stuff, so look forward to actual vlogs coming out. But if you like what I had to say, go ahead and like this video. If you want to see me talk more about other stuff I do and whatever, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and see what I do all that. But until next time, I'm DAC. Thank you for watching and bye.